you, we break it down From crips to waves, we wear the crown With each perfect shot, we'll rise, we won't fall Welcome to the channel, the best dance of all It's more than a game, it's our passion Keep on dancing Hello everyone and welcome back to Scottish Lad Darts channel. I'm Kieran and in today's review we're going to be looking at a set of target darts. It's one of the later, latest target darts I should say. Not quite from the last launch but from the mini launch before that. And in today's review we're going to be reviewing the target Steven the Bullet Button Generation 5. Now, front weighted barrel profile. There's going to be a picture on the screen because my camera just does the day well with me holding darts up like this. So, the Generation 5 Stephen Button that it's like a mix of the Generation 2 and the Generation 4. It's as if they've just combined them together and added the wee front section like from the Generation 3. So it's just really a mashup. But at the same time, it's a brand new concept, it's a brand new dart. Come with the Swiss points, as usual, 26mm gold diamond points. They're 95% tungsten and they are going to run you 84.95 which a lot of people will consider quite expensive but we'll get you the dimensions of all the weights on the screen after this section but the 23 gram dimensions etc will be on the close-up as well as on the next session so without further ado everybody let's crack on with the review Right ladies and gentlemen, as you can see in front of me I've got the Target Steven the Bullet Bunton Generation 5 All fully assembled with the supplied setup So I've got the 26mm diamond points in gold We have the Evo stem flight system So that a grip for the rear grippers And the stem itself And the number 2 Steven Bunton flight now, this is a front heavy dart, so a front weighted dart, so this section at the front is at its widest, is obviously the heaviest part of the dart. But, let's get you a close up look to the grip before we get you the details for the 23 gram. So, there we go, nice close up look to the 22 gram itself. That grip at the front is very similar to what we've seen on the Generation 4. The only difference is there's no red metallic paint there anymore. And uh, overall grip level, I'd say it's a two and a half. The rear grip takes us to what used to be on the Stephen Button Generation Two, well, almost similar. So it's little dots or little milled grooves. All in all, not a lot of grip at the back. I'd probably say level two. But all in all, in terms of grip, I'm going to give them a two and a half. The pro grip Evo stem flight system, as you can see, the red and black just makes the colours pop. The number two Stephen Bunton flight and that gold Swiss point. So let's get you the dimensions for the 23 gram, the weight I'm reviewing. So the barrel length from here with the point meets a barrel to here with the stem meets a barrel is 47 millimeters. And the width at the widest points, so you're talking around about this section here, is 6.9 millimeters. So, let's get you a close up look to the entirety of the dart itself. So, as you can see, straight out of the packet, brilliant looking dart. The only downside, I suppose, a lot of people will consider is these are 84.95, so £85. Here in the UK, but I'll leave some links in the descriptions to where you can get them, etc. Anyway, but as it stands, I think it's a nice looking dart. I just wish the rear had a bit more grip. The grippiest part is the stem, where I'm holding, and I'd say that's probably about a level 3 grip. But let me know your thoughts on the Bunton Gen 5 if you own a set. I'll probably need to try some longer points and stuff on them. But as it stands, the front grip is the grippiest part of the dart, at a level 2.5. Come available in 18, 22, 23 and 25 gram steel tip. They are 95% tungsten and manufactured by Target, as you can see with that Target logo right there at the back of the dart. But I'll give you all the necessary information on the 23 gram Stephen Buntons and a wee bit of my opinion and I'll give you a wee bit more in the throne section and as we wrap up as well. So without further ado, let's go chuck some darts. Right, here we go ladies and gentlemen. I've got the Target 
Stephen, the bullet bunting, Gen 5 here, and 23 gram. Not so grippy at the back, unfortunately, but we'll give them a go. Now, I do have the short number 2 K Flex on there, and pink, so these were also new in the target lane. Target launch, sorry. Now, as it stands up, that lack of grip is a wee bit off putting because my, when I'm releasing my grip, I can feel the dart sliding all the way down, and my fingers are hitting off the stems. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a tighter grip. And we'll try some checkouts. So let's go with a 65. Like just tops. And that just slipped right out of my hand. It doesn't help. I have got a sweat. I do tend to have quite sweaty fingers, so that does not help my case here. So 79. 96. Maybe not. Right, so what we'll do then, instead of the checkout, since we didn't seem to be going anywhere with that, is we'll try some checkouts, and I'm going to try throwing from the front, because that is the grippiest part of the dart, so 20s. Right, we'll give Now, the front being the grippiest part of the dart, that makes a hell of a difference, that one two, one Now, middle, you've got the best of both grips, I suppose, because you're right on the bump, as this tapers up the way, like towards the bump at the bulbous section. So middle grippers is great reference point, a great pushing point. But I'm gonna go back to the rear. I'm gonna slightly alter in my grip to make it that wee bit tighter. Did certainly help there. They didn't slip as much. I don't like having to do that though with a set of darts because I do have a quite a soft grip. But it is what it is. Let's try and get free into the bull. Nowhere near it. So we'll try again with the bulls. Or even the 25, just either or. Make them all the way to the right here. And considering how that was blocked, I don't think it was possible. So what we'll do then, is we'll wrap this up with attempting the big fish. Which we will not win here, unfortunately. So, we'll just try and get one big treble to finish us off here, and then we'll get wrapped up. I got the one big treble, I was going for Bill with the last start, but with that ladies and gentlemen, let's go get wrapped up. And there we have it ladies and gentlemen, that was my review of the Target Stephen Bunton Generation 5. I like the look of the dart, I like the feel of the dart, the only downside is the rear grip is very much lacking for me. If those wee dots or whatever they are, and the rear of the dart was cut in slightly deeper where you could actually feel it. I reckon that would be ideal. Perfect kind of level of grip. As it stands, I just found that my grip kept slipping up and down the barrel. But as it stands, 85 quid for these. A lot of people are going to consider that as very, very expensive. But at the end of the day, you're paying for a pro player dart. The Swiss put on the machining and stuff that's been into. You can tell there's been a lot of machining into that. And we get the Evo stem flight system, which is great for a rear gripper if you're holding the stem. Otherwise, obviously most people will just change it up. The number two Stephen Bunton flights, again, most people change them up anyway, and those Swiss points. Personally, I liked the length of the 26, how they felt and how they flew through there on these. I will try a few different lengths on them, but a big thank you to Golden Skinner, who sent me the Stephen Buttons to do the review on. So everybody, please thank Golden in the comments. But while you're in that direction, don't forget to leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new, Stay safe out there, everybody, and of course, keep on that. Keep on